Hello friends, welcome to Nandkishore classes. Today we are going to learn the concept of altitude. In case of triangle, first of all triangles are of many types. We are going to take all the three types of triangles, acute angle triangle, obtuse angle triangle and right angle triangle and we will try to understand how to find the altitude. Let's have a look. First of all, I am going to take acute angled triangles only. Let me take it. Acute angled triangle. Acute angle triangle looks like this. So this is triangle. You can give its name ABC. Now, how to find the altitude? Altitude depends on the side which one you are taking base. For example, BC is taken as base. If BC is base, then altitude which is also known as height of the triangle. Do remember it. From the opposite vertex, just draw the perpendicular. That means this AD is going to be the altitude. And another name is, which I am writing here, another name is height. This is in case of acute angle triangle. And this is not the only situation. Let's suppose you have this triangle ABC. Once again, I am writing ABC. It all depends which side is our base. In earlier case, I was considering BC as base. Let's suppose base is AC. If base is AC, that means from the opposite vertex B, just draw a perpendicular. In that case, your height will be BD. I hope you understand it. It depends on base always. At the same time, if let's suppose you are considering AB as base. Let's suppose we have considered AB as base. Then from the CE, then CE will be the height. Whichever side we are considering base just from the opposite vertex draw the perpendicular that will become your height your altitude both names even perpendicular we use i hope for acute angle triangle you are clear but this is very easy in acute angle triangle let's suppose we are coming with obtuse angle triangle sometimes many students face problem in obtuse angle triangle how obtuse angle triangle looks like look at this this is obtuse angle triangle, okay, in which one angle is greater than 90 degree. Always remember, one angle is greater than 90 degree. In this case, let's suppose I consider <coughs> BC as base. If my BC is the base, then its altitude will be outside the triangle that is the important point which i wanted to teach it is not necessary that altitude remain inside the triangle always this is the special case because altitude means height height is always perpendicular even if i am going to measure my height what will i do i'll stand straight and you will measure this point but you will do the measurement as a perpendicular from the bottom from the base the same way we do it for the triangle so ad is the height here which is outside the triangle but yes it still depends let's suppose this is obtuse angle triangle the same way but you are considering this side as the base then your altitude will be from the opposite vertex this perpendicular this is going to be your height it all depends always how we are taking the triangles even i can show you with the right angle triangle also. Let's have a look how right angle triangle will work. These concepts are very important because usually students face problem. That's why we are making this video. Let me take this next concept, right angle triangle. Let's suppose this is right angle triangle. 90 degree angle is there at one point. Now, if this is base, no need to draw any other perpendicular already 90 degree angle is there this one will be your height where i have written h and at the same time for the same right angle triangle if you think no this is my base 
B, then this one will become your height. These perpendicular and base, this is base, this is height, this is base, this is height. Any one of them you can take. But yes, if you are taking this side as a base, then your height will be perpendicular from the opposite vertex. So I hope you are clear with the concept. Acute angle triangle, obtuse angle triangle, right angle triangle. In each and every situation, how altitude is decided, everybody must be clear of. Thank you so much.